What, what it do, do dream team? team? It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the two traveling kings, USA versus Australia. Top five cultural differences. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Let's see what we got. Yep, flushes the other way. <coughs> and welcome back to another video. So we're continuing our Australia series. Our last video was about... Australian slang words or just Aussie terms that we didn't know. Yeah, it's Australian slang. So now we thought it would be a good time to talk about the cultural differences from Australia and our life back in the US. We decided to put this video together based on a request from Maurice W. So we asked for any video. Sorry, but I just have to say that the view is crazy. I know, right? Like, that's a really nice place. That is dope, huh? Yeah. We need a house like that. Yeah, we do. That'd be super nice. First, we need some more money in our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> suggestions and we want you to know we're listening so thank you Maurice for the suggestion for this video so as you saw in the intro indeed the toilet does flush the opposite way in Australia <laughs> compared to the US but let's get into some serious points here so I think what we're gonna start out with is talking about work differences so what work has been like here in our six-month contracts compared to back home our careers in the US so I started working in Australia in November of last year. So it was around the holiday time and yeah, it was pretty low key, pretty laid back. Uh, people were still obviously focused on projects, but at a bit slower of a pace. And then things definitely picked up come January. So I think that was pretty different. Back in the US, it's go, go, go all the time. Even though it does slow down a little bit in the holidays, it was a nice relaxed pace here in Australia. And I started my role in October of last year. Unfortunately, mine's come to an end. But when I was there, I, it was the first job in my professional life that I got in at nine and left at five, and that was encouraged. <laughs> so that was really nice and different. And I would just say that the workplace culture in general is a lot more relaxed and casual, just in the way that people dress and the way that people carry themselves and talk. It's much less buttoned up than professional. I think in the US there's kind of a bit more of a professional persona and here it just really seemed like people were kind of themselves so honestly it took me by surprise at first but it was kind of nice once you got used to it. Yeah something you can get used to. Yeah. I think and I don't know if just because we were doing working holiday visas and not our long-term careers back home but back home you know work was usually always on the mind we were stressed after work coming home oh I had mm -hmm. such a rough day but here once you get home from work we honestly never really thought about it until we were back the next day at nine so I think that says a lot about our experience working here I think priorities are different here it just seems I like that because I feel yeah. like they write in America it is like go 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 uh, right you don't never really get to relax you don't ever really get to take a break no and I will say part of that, even though that's how America is, I will say, I mean, that's up to each person to develop their work-life balance or how they want. Like, if you want to grind for 15, 16 hours a day, cool. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against you. But if you don't want to do that, you don't got to feel like you're getting left behind because somebody is. Yeah. You just got different priorities. Yeah, I feel like, like before I started YouTube, um... I worked night shift at Amazon, and so uh, we barely saw each other until mm -hmm. I was off because I would go in around like three or four, mm -hmm. and then I wouldn't be home until about uh, four thirty in the morning. Yep. And then by that time, he's getting ready to get up and go to the gym, and then by the time I would wake up. He would still be in the middle of working, yeah. doing videos for y'all, and I would be getting ready to go back to work. <laughs> and so we never really saw each other during the week. We would only see each other for like two days. Yeah. And it just wasn't enough for me. 
And I just feel like uh, you just always came home, like, stressed about something that happened at the job. Like, yes, stressed always. Stressed whether it be, like, some, too many people called in, just not enough workers, workers causing problems. Just, it was always something. Yes. And then they even asked, y'all already working 12-hour shifts, yet they asked y'all to come in early almost every single day. Yes, I would constantly get stressed out because I would feel like I was finally getting to see him. For a minute, like, you know, not actually a minute, yeah. but getting a little bit more time, and then I would be excited, and then I would get a phone call, like, hey, can you come in? Mm-hmm. And then that would stress me out, because, like, I'm not I'm not even really supposed to go in until 6 o'clock, but I'm getting called in around 2 or 3. Oh. And. <laughs> it's, it don't make sense, Working bro. these 15, 16-hour shifts, and then me yeah. being exhausted. Yeah. And in Australia, like other countries, it's like the job not even allowed to call you while you're off. they not allowed to contact you while you're off. While, if you're on holiday or whatever. And in America, it's like no matter if you're on holiday or what, I, I know you're on. I know you, you had to take the week off, but we're really short today. Is there any way you can come in? It's, no, yes, I can't that's, come in. Yeah, that's how it was. Like, he would be getting frustrated too because, like, it would be my off days and I'm yeah. still getting asked to come in. And we just... I'm like, hey. And I'm like, extra money is cool, but, like, what's the point if you just got to work 24-7? You got to work every day. Yeah, so I think the only time I worked uh, the full seven days in a row was when you went to Texas. Yeah. It's like, now you do YouTube with me, and it's like more chill, laid back, get in here, knock out videos for what, like two to three hours. Yeah. We'll edit for around an hour, and you're done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we battle each other, and you know. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And I'm not, I try not to cause any kind of problems, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. she don't have to be stressed or upset or anything. Yeah, I feel like we get along pretty good. I mean, we're... Yeah. We're together at this point, like, we went from being together on the weekends to being together, like, 23 hours a day. Oh, The only one hour we're apart is when he goes to the gym. Yep. So. Yep. We're together all day. <laughs> we're together all day. We, we ain't got, together. We ain't got tired of each other just yet. So, that's just a yet. good thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue, though. Like, there's much more of that work-life balance that Americans strive so hard to reach. Yeah. It just comes naturally here. It's much more accepted. It's great. And I guess another big difference from the U.S. where we lived on the East Coast and Australia is the weather. So, mm. not too many rainy days. We have not seen snow yet since we've been in Australia. Mm. And it's just been really nice. And we did have... We don't miss it. Not yeah. at all. <laughs> I mean, there were bushfires, so that was... This I don't know, people have never seen it in their whole lives, and of course we got here at that time, so that was an outlier, but yeah. mostly it's just been not too humid, sunny. Yeah, and I'm loving the weather right now. We're in, what, May, almost May, April, mm-hmm. mid-April. It's cool, it's like fall back at home. Yeah. Really enjoy it. The weather's great. It's so great. Don't miss the cold. Yeah. Now, cold for us is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> We're so, babies. Yeah. <laughs> We've had an eternal summer. For you. That is cold. That's hot. That is 70 degrees. Now, 70 is perfect. That's not cold. That's not too hot. 70 is about perfect. No. Like I said, we keep our 61. It doesn't yeah. get touched. I might find 70 hot now. Because I done been down here six months and she done froze me as much as she possibly can. So... I was about to say, let's just make it clear that we are, as of right now, in a winter storm. Yeah. And there is snow outside, and it is 8 degrees outside. Freezing, there's like, you can barely walk outside or you're going to slip and fall. Yeah. And icicles stuck to the car. <laughs> yeah. Right, and okay. uh, the heat is on, but it's been set on 61, and it has not gone up. And yeah. we do get cold during those wear gloves around the house, and... Outside, but and sweats and hoodie is the outfit around the house every day. No, you ain't gonna catch me in a t shirt ever. I usually just wear a t shirt <laughs> and um, leggings, sometimes even shorts in the 61 while it's snowing outside. <laughs> We're just completely opposite. Well, but, I feel like my body though is adjusting more towards like 
her ten, it won't ever fully get to there but it's no. just be more uh, we way. struggle every night when we go to bed yeah because yeah. we're like our bodies are like cold even though i'm not cold like to him my body's cold. her body her feet bro are the coldest so when we get in bed like i said it's in the middle of winter storm right now and on top of the 61 degrees in the house and then we sleep with the fan on high and he uses me as a shield <laughs> i have to bro she trying to get me sick out here we we haven't even been sick yet all winter come on that's because my immune system is that strong but this i think this is literally the first time i made it through december without getting sick even a really, really bad cold. That's because she absorbs all of my heat, all my body heat, and that's keeping a healthy and warm. I think it really <laughs> has to do with like not being around like my nieces and nephews. Oh so much. yeah, that's true. That's true. Now that I moved out, because come on, yeah, I literally like I told him I'm not the type of person to get sick. Yeah. Unless Same. it's winter time. So December is like the most deadliest month for me. It's like, don't call me. Don't text me. I can't come out. I'm sick. I feel that. But I haven't. Not once. Yeah. Yeah. So. Kids, I mean, they carry all the germs. So yeah. I'm from school understand. and yeah. all that. So. That makes sense. But yeah. Let's keep it rolling. See what else they got to talk about. It's a way to do it. <laughs> kind of going along with the workplace differences. Just the entire attitude towards holidays and vacations is a lot different here. Mm -hmm. So I know schools get a lot more school breaks during the year. Their schedule is a little bit confusing to us, to be honest. Yeah, it's not like one big summer. You no. get a lot of frequent breaks, which yeah. is what they're used to. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's completely standard and normal to get four weeks vacation time standard entry yeah. level um, for the whole year. I think we I got a lot of comments about how do you make two weeks of vacation a year work? How can they do that? How is that possible? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of hard to go back now, I think, <laughs> after seeing what other people have here. And that doesn't even include Christmas break sometimes. Yeah. So companies shut down for two weeks and you still get, so you can get six weeks of vacation a year. Feasibly. Not too bad. Also, this isn't an ad to move to Australia, but no. we're just saying it's, there's some nice differences. <laughs> there's some nice differences. And another big difference here in Australia are the sports. So when we got here, we sort of created a list of all the different sports we wanted to go watch while we were here. Unfortunately, a lot of the seasons ended up getting suspended. Um, yeah. So we couldn't see rugby league or Australian rules football. So those were two big ones we wanted to see. We did go see some Australian soccer, and we also went to see a cricket match. For 20 hey, minutes which before was, it got rained out. But we went to the cricket ground. <laughs> we went. It counts. In Sydney, and it was a lot of fun. We had our bucket hats and figured out the rules for the most part. So, good learning experience. There's a definite uh, difference in understanding between the rules of sports. So, I feel like people here don't understand American football and don't really care to. No. Yeah. Just like the rest of the world, when we lived in England, there's a bit of a following in the NFL, but no one really gives a crap over here in Australia. <laughs> they have their sports that they like that are popular, yeah. so why watch anything else? Yeah. Maybe when we're back in Australia, whenever, who knows when, but we'll be able to see some Aussie Rules football and some rugby league. That'd be nice. So those are some, some of the major sports. So another big difference is I do. the... When we go out there to Australia, because we will at some point, I want to see the Aussie Rules football too. That would be fun. Because their tickets are, like, very affordable compared to what we got to pay for tickets here in America. Yeah. So, like, that would be, be cool. Fun. Be dope. Be yeah. neat. They got some dope sports out there that I feel like I've, I've drawn, I've gotten drawn to. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to show me all of them. See, no, I love the sports. I love the sports. Yes, as of right now, he's into baseball. Because <laughs> of the anime. <laughs> He's usually a big basketball fan. I don't think I actually like watch an actual real baseball game. I think we should go to one this summer. Would be odd sitting in the stands. Says the one who don't like the cold, bro. What do you, you want? Watch, you can watch the baseball game at the crib. It's an air conditioning with some snacks no. that are affordable. Do no. <laughs> you feel me? We're gonna go to a baseball game. We're gonna I guess vlog. we'll vlog it. <laughs> Your first yeah. baseball game. It won't be as fun as anime baseball, but we'll check it out. You'll like it. <laughs> Continue. 
food here in Australia, as you know, Jenny and I love to eat, and we definitely explored, explored the Aussie food scene here um, compared to the U.S. So, of course, being in a large cultural hub like Sydney, there are so many good types of food. I think the big differences that we found was, obviously, having our Vegemite toast for breakfast <laughs> in the morning. We've changed our tune. We actually love it. Yeah. But when it comes to lunch, there are so many different options from, I guess, the chains that you have to eat. So back home, you got your KFC, Taco Bell, your burger chains. Here, there's a lot more chains around, like, Chinese food, Japanese food. There's just so many awesome choices that we didn't really have back in the U.S. where we lived. Yeah, that's fair. I would also say the only things we really miss are Mexican food, like really good authentic Mexican food, and also probably barbecue, mm -hmm. like that kind of food, yeah. ribs and pulled pork sandwiches and that kind of stuff. But the one thing that we have loved here is the authentic Asian food, because where we've grown up and lived in the U.S., we haven't had mm -hmm. the options that we have here. I mean, mm -mm. it's... Mm -mm. Nah. I always say I'm willing to try almost anything, but eh, uh eh. -uh. I That's can't. Food. It might be good, but I can't do it, bro. Nah. I can't. You see all of his fingers and stuff? Yes, I, just, I can't do it. I couldn't bite one up. I feel like I would just hear it crunch and just throw it throw I'm it across like, the road, bro. Nah. And they got, they done lost me because they said no Chick-fil-A or Taco Bell. We can't do that. I'm sure in Australia they got a Chick-fil-A or a Taco Bell. It just they said got, they didn't. Uh, they haven't visited or they didn't have them? It says Australia has all these two except for these. No taco? I guess well, I guess not then. But what's the name that one? But I don't couple? know how long how long this has no, been, so they might have one by Yeah, now. I was gonna say you remember that other couple we reacted to, they yeah, went through to the taco, taco Bell drive through. Yeah. Maybe where they are. Yeah. It's not in that. Part. I feel that. I feel that. That chicken feet just do not look good. And you gotta have Chick fil A too. Come on. <laughs> Look at that foot, bro. I know. Oh my you god. Would to try that. I would I wouldn't try. I would I would grab it and I would wanna try it, but something in my brain would just be Have like we're not saying No. Well yeah, yeah, I'll try when I was young and I absolutely hated it. It was awful. You ain't gonna get me to try that either. Good. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> Amazing. Vietnamese, Thai, Japanese, Korean. I mean it's Especially Dim awesome. Sum. Yeah, just because after we traveled, we fell in love with Asia and so much of the food. So it's been really cool to be able to have those options here. Food is a winner <laughs> in Australia. We'll talk more about it in another video. And the last big cultural difference that we wanted to talk about was, of course, the Australian accent. So Logan and I lived in England back in 2016, 17, mm -hmm. 17. And we were in the northern part of England, and he was there a year, I was there about half a year. And by the time we left, we felt pretty confident that we could do a mean northern English accent impersonation. Like, we are pretty confident in it. Uh, we've been here for about six months, and if you haven't checked out our latest video, um, you can check that out here. But we're terrible at the Australian yeah. accent. Yeah, you it's so hard. You really have to practice at your Aussie accent. And we obviously stand out here with our American accents for sure. We sometimes get mm -hmm. asked if we're from Canada, but um, yeah, we can't do this accent. I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. Someone said it's much our American accents much more nasally compared to mm -hmm. the Aussie accent, which is very very true. So you'll stand out on a train or a bus <laughs> compared to. Mm your local Aussies. I think the only thing I am kind of can manage to say is, I, how you going? How you going? How you going, nah. how you going nah. mate? <laughs> yeah, nah, so that's, that's all yeah, we nah, got. Nah, nah, yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, but this is what we're doing to keep ourselves entertained. We hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video here talking about the cultural differences. It's been really fun living here in Australia. We're sad to have to leave early, but that is the state of the world. That is life, yeah. Couldn't have blamed for it, but we're just trying to make the best of it. So thanks again, Maurice, for the great suggestion. I hope we answered some of your questions. If there's anything else you want us to talk about, please let us know, and we'd be more than happy to make a video on it. Yeah, let's so keep an eye out for videos in the future. See you soon. Yeah, that wasn't a bad Aussie accent. No, it wasn't terrible. It's not my great Aussie accent, but I got.
Hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, go. Good day, mate. We ain't gonna talk about it. Uh, <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. You don't want to. <laughs> That's how we got y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, read notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up, and we out.